going Tuesday afternoon, actually Tuesday evening. I'm in Koreatown today. Hey, I'm gonna link up with some friends, go to this place called Pizza Rev. We're gonna have a, a grand old time. Then we're gonna see the power of God touch people. It's gonna be amazing. Come with me. Okay, so I'm here with I'm here with Brian, and we're talking about eating healthy. And a lot of times, you eat unhealthy. Not only do you cause all types of crazy stuff to happen to your body, you invite demons to come into your body. He was just telling the story about how his mom had diabetes, and just by eating right, it totally got reversed. So we'll tell the story like you just told me. Oh yeah, so my mom, she suffered diabetes for ever since maybe for 10 years or more and um, and she took pills and medicines and everything that the doctor recommended but it, it never did anything for her basically it just controlled her diabetes kept her alive and kept her you know barely living but um but then um maybe about seven years ago six years ago uh god gave me a revelation about healthy eating saying that that we are we are his temple and uh, and and we need to keep this temple healthy and strong but a lot, lot of christians believe that we can just pray over everything that we eat without any consequences but obviously that's not the case because the Bible says that we need to whatever we do eat or drink we have to do it to the glory of God but most of the time we we don't eat to the glory of God so we eat things that harms our bodies that causes sickness in our bodies and breaks down our body chemistry and our blood cells and so forth so my mom we put her on, on uh, on a vegetable diet, basically a soup diet, pure vegetable soup diet, and some raw foods, vegetable salads. So two weeks ago, she went in for a final for for a checkup, and the doctor told her that her diabetes is completely gone. And and uh, <laughs> and she she told us the story, and she was so happy. She was giving glory to God because God, you know, God already provides the the cure for our for that sickness. It's just eating right. Hey Amen. That, that, you know? Now you know Brian and myself and all of us here. We believe in the power of God. We do this every day. But God doesn't want you to live off a miracle. He wants you to live off the ingredients that He provided for you. So don't keep eating crazy and then calling us and calling Brian and, and everyone else to come pray for you. Eat right. <laughs> <laughs> Out here at the park looking for people that we can release the fire of God on. <laughs> right. Destroy the, the, the strongholds in people's lives. All oh, to the glory of God. So it's your uh, ankle right there? Now you said it's about an eight? Yeah, like a good eight. Hurts when you try to move it around and stuff? Yeah, when I like pressure on it. Pressure on it? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna point to it right from here. All right, what's your name? Junior. Junior. In the name of Jesus, I speak to the ankle right now, and I command healing right now. In the name of Jesus, touch his ankle right now. All pain go. In the name of Jesus, right now, ankle be healed. Now, now go ahead and move it around. Put some pressure on it. How's it feel? It hurts a little bit. It hurts a little bit? Yeah. It, it, it still hurts. Let me 
put me. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for you touching his ankle right now. All pain go in the name of Jesus. You love Junior, and as a sign, as a wonder unto him right now, touch his ankle right now. All pain go in Jesus' name. Amen. I felt something shift in your, in your leg. <laughs> How does it feel? No, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt? Yeah, try to do something. How you feel? Yeah, it feels good now. Yeah. Give me a hug, man. Jesus just heals you, man. <laughs> That's awesome, man. There's one more pain that God wants to heal you too. It's the one in your heart. Yeah. That rejection, that depression that you suffer sometimes. The problems that you have with your parents, your father. Okay. Um, sometimes you feel like you're being a, like an outsider, you know what I mean? but you're not. You know, sometimes we see God uh, the same way as we see our Father, but God is not like our earthly Father, you know what I mean? So we're going to pray for that. Let's, let's minister yeah. to their hearts, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, relax, too, and be aware of what you're going to feel in your body. Uh, right? Yeah. So, Father, we just oh, you just relax. thank you for Junior, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you love this man. You love him so much, Father God. So right now, Lord, Father God, heal his wound, heal his heart, Father God. That love and that compassion that he's always wanted from his parents, oh Lord. Those words, that recognition of feeling worthy of being a son, oh Lord, Lord, that he perhaps never received in his life. Those, those words, those of the words of a loving father that he needed to hear as he was growing up. Lord, we ask you to heal him from that. Heal that wound, that pain in his heart right now in Jesus' name, Father God. Restore him, oh Lord, right now, Father God. That orphan lifestyle, that orphan mentality. Get out now, that rejection, that depression, Father God. Right now, oh Lord, that loneliness, right now, the isolation, get out now in Jesus' name, Father God. All spirit of death and suicide, get out now in Jesus' name. We bind you, we break your power right now in Jesus' name. Get out now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for it. It is done. It is done. It is done. Are you feeling that right now? Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so Junior, let me ask you, have you ever made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, man? Do you want to do? Because he's, reach, he's reaching out to you right now, man. He yeah. wants to change your life. Dude. Yeah, the feeling that you feel right now, you can have this all the time, man. Yeah. That, 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 the loneliness and all that, that's, that's in the past. The way you're feeling right now, you can have that all the time. And more. And more. Would you like that? I don't know. <laughs> um, sir. Yeah, you should, bro. Because see, if you notice us, we're like different than most people. We have something called the peace that surpasses human knowledge. And everyone in the world wants this thing, and they don't know how to get it. They go, they they try to find it by drugs, by women, by by sex, all kinds of ways. They try to find this peace, this thing to to feel like they belong, not knowing that what they're actually looking for is God, their Father, because they were created. Everyone's been created to be with Him. So that's why we're with him and we accept him as a, our Lord and Savior. He lives in our hearts now, bro. So he can come and live inside of you, bro. So you can have the assurance that you go to heaven when you die and not worry about, hey, where am I going to go when I die? You know? So would you like to receive him as your Lord and Savior, bro? It's up to you, man, because God is, God is such a gentleman. So yeah, I don't know. I still got to... Back. You you, Is your back giving you a hard time? A little bit, yeah. pray for your distance, brother, on your back. Don't, huh? don't, don't be shy. Like this. In your back? Yeah. Oh. Let us put, he'll put his hands on you. Say yeah, a quick you prayer. Pain at all, bro? No. no? 
You got a music hall too. It's probably music for the church, for the youth, the worship leader, the man for Jesus. He's going to keep telling you, keep giving you opportunities to send people like me and tell you, your music leader, sing praises to Jesus in front of thousands of people. Yes. All right. All right, guys.